Fast Mobile was created with a vision to do things different uh, in the first Focus Ultrasound uh, arena. If we build something which is affordable and gets to the hand of every clinician and then gets to every patient, that's a big plus. So we were able to build a small, affordable, uh, portable device and uh, we're hoping to make it a success. So we call the device the Neuralizer. If it sounds like the device for Men in Black, it's not a coincidence. It, the goal of the device is to uh, non-invasively, thermally destroy nerves and provide pain relief. Just like a root canal treatment, you kill the nerve and then the pain goes away. Uh, we're targeting nerves specific for various indications, starting with low back pain. And we're trying to replace an existing procedure, which is called facet rhizotomy, in which this procedure, the clinician, the interventional pain clinician, insert radiofrequency ablation needle under X-ray guidance, align the tip of the needle with the nerve, run electricity and burn the nerve. With our device, we, we go through the same procedure, meaning it's the same setup, same clinician, same imaging modality, same targeting, everything is the same. We're trying to, to envelop everything in a non-disruptive envelope, but at the end of the day, instead of sticking a needle in the patient, we use acoustic energy, which reduces pain, obviously no infection, no bleeding. So um, end of last year, 2017, uh, we initiated the clinical trial, the safety phase one, study at uh, McGill University in, in Montreal um, in collaboration with the pain management division. We start with low back pain but as Arik mentioned in pain management there are so many other applications, so other anatomical areas in the body that the neuralizer can address. We do hope that once we have the first several indication and have many devices in the hands of the clinician they would start propelling this technology forward and find more and more uses. One of the first patients we treated uh, at McGill, um, after the treatment we sorted all the device and, and the patient went with the uh, PI and then the PI came into the room with a big smile and he said, you know what she did? She crossed her legs. And she, we were said, so? He said, she didn't cross the legs for I don't know how many years because of the pain. And that was, a, that was a powerful moment that we understood that we were doing something really good and that was really one of the first cases we have treated. Um, and that was, that was a good moment.